Hey, this is Dave Shepard, graphic artist here at the Cartridge Group. I'm going to show you how to add a new page to your site using Epoxy, our SEO-friendly and fully accessible content management system. All right, so here we are on the uh, Epoxy homepage. This is kind of like home base for uh, managing content on your website. Um, from here, we're going to want to click Pages. This allows you to manage all your existing pages as well as add pages within your website. Now near the top of the page you'll see this plus sign. This allows you to add a page to a website. We're going to click on that and choose exactly where within uh, the site structure you're going to want to put the page. Uh, for the demo purpose we'll choose web development. Uh, after you've chosen hit save and continue. Now the first thing you'll want to do is to fill the link text of your new page. This is the text that a visitor clicks within your navigation to reach the page so be sure to make it clear and concise. We are going to use content management system. Now over here we have existing URL but we're going to skip over that this time because this is going to be a new page. You're only going to want to use this option if uh, you want to send your visitors to a different page that's already been created. So we're going to fill in a page heading. Uh, we're going to use epoxy content management system. I've typed it before so I'm just going to hit tab and let it fill out. Um, this is going to create the main headline on the page and should be descriptive of what the rest of the page is going to be about. The text will be larger than any other text on the page, so um, you want to make sure it's, been, it's important. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is to check the uh, page layout. Um, these are essentially all the different types of templates that uh, you have enabled under your site. We're going to use uh, general content for this one. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is to select the status of the web page. We have active, which will make the page live on the site and add it to the site navigation. Then there's inactive, which removes the page from the site navigation and keeps it hidden. And last, but not least, we have marketing. This adds the page to your site, but doesn't add the page to the site navigation. This is good for if you're doing um, a web marketing technique, such as a blast email, newsletter, for a special event, an offer that you don't want in your navigation. Uh, for this one, we're going to select inactive just for, to show for the demo. Then uh, hit save and continue. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add the uh, SEO properties for the page. SEO properties will make your page more visible to search engines like Google and Yahoo. First, we have the um, meta description. This is a short description that tells the search engines what the page is about in one or two sentences. The content of this field is displayed on the search engines and should make searchers want to click your site's result. Now for our meta description, uh, we previously wrote up this so we didn't have to type it all for you. I'm just going to copy that, paste it in for our description. Alright, so next we have meta keywords. These are keywords that someone might enter in the search engine to find a page like this one. You're going to want to limit this to about five keywords. Now again, we have the uh, pre-typed content, just so we don't waste a little bit more time. And that one's good. Finally, you're going to want to enter the page title data. This data appears in the search engine results and at the blue bar at the very top of the screen. It usually contains keywords related to the page content. So again, we're going to paste in um, some pre-written content. Uh, notice how each one of these is a keyword that someone might search in a search engine, so um, usually that'll help you out a little bit better. All right, then we're going to click Save and Continue. Alright, so next up we're going to upload any images for the page. I've got one image to upload for this page, and it will be a custom header that we have created separately. You can uh, click on Browse, find the directory, and find exactly where the file is. Click Open. Um, usually over here you'd want to set the type of file that it will be. Manual placement, slideshow image, custom header, home features. This one, like I said before, is going to be a custom header at the very top of the page click upload it and it'll let you know that it got through and then hit save and continue alright so here we have the RTE this will be more of the bread and butter for when you're adding all your content I'm gonna go back to uh, the content that is previously typed and um, select that and paste that in and um, within here you can normally edit the styles and change um, 
change all your spacing and it'll show up directly how it looks in this on the site. I'm not going to apply all my styles because that'll take too much time. I'm just trying to show you um, that you can edit that. Um, when you have everything how you want it, you can click on save and continue. So we're going to skip over this next page. It's uh, the relations page and uh, we're going to go over what exactly this means and does in a later tutorial. So for now, click save and continue. Alright, so it brought us here. This is the page preview, so you get to peek at uh, what your page looks like before you can take it live. If anything doesn't look right, you can go back and uh, edit it. But uh, if you're good to go, then it's all good. Alright, so that was our quick overview on how to add a page using our epoxy content management system. Thanks for watching.